morning everyone so again I'm still off my line and felt like standing up a little bit I don't like lying down all the time just makes me feel blah um, you want to be as active as possible and they suggest that anyway so I walk around with my crutch a little bit of a wobble but you know nothing you can't handle right now I'm just relaxing Natalie went to go get some breakfast for herself I'm not really feeling anything yesterday I think I was feeling emotions when I woke up so that's pretty much confirmed. Now I'm feeling the nausea um, that I can almost guarantee. So my sister went out and bought me something to ensure that I get my daily supplements and enrichment. I know, shitty pun, sorry guys. But now that's it's really easy for me to hold those down. Um, once in a while, I feel like letting go. <laughs> Not like in Frozen, but letting go of my food. Yeah. So, it's not the worst thing, honestly. They said the thing I would feel the most is being fatigued or tired. Honestly, I don't feel tired at all. I feel just like normal, except the fact that my stomach is a little um, upset and I have to hiccup or burp once in a while just to let go of the gas. So that's, that's the main thing I'm feeling right now, just that nausea. Got my lunch, and oddly enough, I'm not too repulsed by the cheese pizza. Look at that hype! Personal cheese pizza. I think this is probably the best thing I've gotten all the time in here. And uh, my uncle Ray came visit <laughs> me. It's video though. Yeah, I did video. video. <laughs> yeah. So this is my uncle Ray. It turns out he's actually my also my godfather. And yesterday, when my aunts were all visiting, they asserted me that he wasn't, and I was pretty certain that he was. So I went and messaged him. His only response was me. <laughs> I'm your godfather. <laughs> he was there for confirmation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Look how much weight he's lost. I can see. It's because he never eats fat foods anymore. No more lechon kawali for all you Filipino lovers. Out but there. I still eat adobo. But he still eats chicken adobo. <laughs> Pork adobo. Oh, nice. So I think I'm going to cut in. I don't really want to be on camera while I'm eating. But I'll cut it up for myself. Um, I still need to ration it out just to make sure it that doesn't get to me. But yeah, surprisingly, this isn't making me feel sick or anything. Um, just usually the smell of things would just make me feel uncomfortable. So it's pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy not to feel that right now. But you know, otherwise I'm doing pretty okay. It's just a stomach thing that's been bothering me. Otherwise, I don't even feel tired. Took a little bit of a nap. Natalie recorded me. That's always fun. I don't know if I should trust her with the camera anymore. <laughs> Because almost all parts of my life will be documented. Some people want to relax, you know, hang out. So I'm checking with you guys later on. So we're just waiting a little bit longer to get my vitals taken before they discharge me. So I'm probably gonna call my dad so he can start heading over. And once I'm ready to discharge, I'm ready to you know, get ready to go. Pretty excited. I've been walking around pretty decently. Um, I don't know how it's gonna be with shoes on. I've been in socks the whole time. Um, I'm gonna get myself some slippers, maybe down the line. So the next time you'll see me is either in the car or at home, and then maybe shot in freedom. So look at this, look at where I am, back at my beautiful setup. I gotta say it's nice to have freedom again. A full-fledged queen-size bed, my three monitors, my TV, my beautiful computer. I'm so happy to be back home and to really have freedom! In any case, um, I'm going to be recording a little bit more at home. Some people are visiting me later today, so I might try to get them in on the video and get a little bit more footage for you guys. Natalie's been a great, great help, but unfortunately she's leaving me. It was great while it lasted and um, I hope you guys can stick with me throughout this whole time. I'm only kidding. She's got to go home. She's got to do some homework. I've taken up too much of her time. And again, if you guys can give a shout out to Natalie. She's been really great through all, all of this and I really love her for that. Um, and of course, thank you to you guys for being with me throughout this whole thing. There's still a lot more to go through. This was just the first round of the first cycle. Um, there's still two and a half more weeks till my next chemo session, which will be five days in the hospital. 
I'll go back home for two days and I'll be back in the hospital again for five days. So if you guys want to visit during that time, just send me a text or message me on Facebook. I'll let you know. Uh, or Natalie or my sister will, will try to go through those for me. Try to see when's the best time for people to come by. I'm still feeling a little nauseous. I'm going to drink this water here and take my medicine. Um, other than that, I feel fine. Just I don't really want to eat. And smelling food is not so fun. But I have some, some stuff to ensure that I get my um, daily vitamins and all that stuff. So we're keeping on top of things. I'm going to try to eat. Natalie's going to force feed me. She's going to be like a no-no for the next little while. But that's okay. She's Italian. She's sweet. That's in her blood. So I'll check in with you guys. Maybe when people come by and maybe closer to the end of the night. And I'll upload them a lot faster because I'm on my actual computer and internet. And not crappy hospital Wi-Fi, which was actually pretty decent. I'm only kidding. So I'll tune in in, this, in a little bit. Are you still recording me? Look at it. <laughs> this is what happens when you I give Natalie like a camera. I like it. She just loves and the funny thing is that she's gonna watch the vlog after this. <laughs> Even though she's been here the whole time. She'll re be the one recording, she'll be sitting in the corner while I'm recording, hearing it all, watching me. She's even here when the camera's not recording. But she'll go and watch the vlog anyway. That's dedication, that's a true fan. When you're already there fan girl. and you go watch it afterwards. So <laughs> shout out to Nabby behind the camera, the human mouth.